Okay, we have Earth here, and we have this wheel. This wheel will give us something we have to do to Earth. No atmosphere, okay. So now we go to Earth, go and remove its atmosphere. We're gonna see how many times we can do this and Earth will survive. So now we see what happens to Earth after we make our change. We'll give it a few years. You can see all of the plant life is dead. I mean, the city lights still show up, but I think that's just programmed into it. Okay, let's do the wheel again. Asteroid bombardment. Okay, let's throw a bunch of asteroids at Earth. Okay, we're gonna do a moon swarm onto Earth. Okay, go. Yes! Okay, these are a little bit bigger than asteroids, but let's see what happens. Okay, collision, collision. It looks like some of them are gonna escape, but Earth is completely molten now. Okay, it looks like one is very, very close to it. It's like stuck to it almost. What is that? It's like stuck to it. Okay, something happened over time. Okay, let's see Earth after all of this. It is a brown blob of nothing. We almost have like a texture glitch here. <laughs> okay, I'm not satisfied until Earth is completely gone, so let's spin it again. <laughs> this might be the end. We got Death Star Laser. Okay, so in Universe Sandbox, there's a laser and you can set the preset to Galactic Empire Super Laser. So this is the same as the laser that the Death Star uses in Star Wars. So we're gonna, we're gonna just gonna use it on Earth and see what happens. Okay, so definitely something's happening. We got a little smiley face here, but he's okay. He's okay right now. We're gonna keep going. Is that, that's the moon. Or no, that is one of the moons. Okay, we need to laser this too. Okay, oh, that died. And there we go, Earth is destroyed. Okay, Earth is back for round two. We still got a lot of options on that wheel to go through. Spin again. Greenhouse effect. We're gonna essentially make global warming 10 times worse. We're gonna go to surface, we're gonna go to atmosphere, and we're gonna change the amount of atmosphere layers from one to 100. So the atmosphere is now 100 times thicker on Earth than it was before. We're gonna give it a few years and see what happens to Earth. Okay, so it's been a minute. Doesn't look like too much yet. I can see all of the plants are dead. You can see they are all dead. What is our temperature? The average temperature on Earth is 315 degrees Celsius. That's not enough. I want, let's do, okay, we're gonna do 500 atmosphere layers. That has gotta do something. I'm expecting molten ground at this point. Yes, look, it's working. After a few years, the entire Earth is starting to melt on the surface because of how thick the atmosphere is. That is crazy. And all of the water is starting to melt too, like it's evaporating. Okay, while Earth is in this state, let's spin it again. Here we go. Okay, axial tilt disruption. So essentially with this one, we're gonna take Earth's tilt. Earth has a natural tilt and we're gonna make it like a lot worse. We're gonna make it so it spins on its side. This is gonna make it really bad for the people that live in the Southern hemisphere because they are gonna get all the sun from now on and these people are gonna get no sun. So maybe it, the heat will start to concentrate in the Southern hemisphere and our Northern hemisphere will be better. Oh wait, it's gonna change with the year. So it's like in summer, you get sun 24 seven and in winter you get zero sun. That's what, we basically have super extreme seasons now. That's not enough to kill earth though. We're gonna need another spin. Here we go. Swap mass. Okay, so we actually have another wheel with objects in our solar system. So we're gonna spin this one now and whatever object that lands on, we're swapping the earth's mass with that. Triton. No, Callisto. Okay, so now we're gonna make Earth have the same amount of mass as Callisto. So let's find Callisto. Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay, Callisto has 1.46 times the moon's mass. So now we are going to go to Earth and change its mass to 1.46 times the moon. 1.46. So it's shrink way smaller, but that's gonna make the heating even more intense. <gasps> or the atmosphere is gonna fly off completely. It did. It's so small it couldn't hold the atmosphere on. That means it's gonna start cooling down. So that kind of helped Earth. It is now, I mean, look at it. It looks like Earth, but if you took all the water and plants away. And the seasons are now super strong. Okay, let's spin again. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, more water. We might be saving Earth with this one. <laughs> okay, we gotta add back the water, okay? Surface, sea level, we'll bring it back to about where it was. About right there, that looks like Earth again. Uh, let's see if we can recover Earth. Let's spin it again. Oh no, <laughs> ice age, okay. <laughs> I think it will already be in an ice age because there's no atmosphere. If we speed this up enough, I bet the water freezes. If not, we're gonna need a way to make it freeze. Okay, <gasps> the plants are growing back. Okay, okay, but we gotta freeze it. So we're gonna go to tools and planetscaping and we're gonna get ice and we're just gonna add ice everywhere. Sorry, Earth, we have to do this. Okay, that looks like Earth is in an ice age for sure. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see if that ice even holds up over time. Oh yeah, okay, it's holding up pretty good. Okay, we're gonna spin again. Here we go. Spin faster. Okay, yeah. Okay, we gotta spin the earth faster. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna have to slow down time so we can get more precise with this. So earth is currently spinning like that. <laughs> so if we want it to spin faster, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to tools and force and we're gonna start spinning it down more. I don't wanna kill it with this spin, but I want there, okay. See, that's what I wanted. So it's spinning so fast that the, the chunks of earth on the equator are being thrown off and they're crashing back into it. Okay, we'll speed up time and we kind of have rings now. Uh, they, I guess they all went back down. Oh, it's spinning so fast. Small fragments are coming off. Okay, let's see if we can save it. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, change orbits. So we're gonna go back to that other whale and see what object it has to swap orbits with. Here we go. So whatever one it lands on, we're putting Earth where that object is. Uh-oh, Uranus, it's gonna be so far away. Okay, so now we're gonna take this Earth and we're gonna move it all the way out to Uranus's orbit. So Uranus is here, it's this light blue line. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the move tool. We're gonna click on Earth, it's very small. Pause time, move it all the way out next to Uranus, like this. And then we can just put it in auto orbit mode and it should automatically get an orbit. Yes, okay, so now Earth is out next to Uranus. Let's speed up time and watch it. We're gonna need a flashlight to even see this. I think this will make the Ice Age worse. It's going. It honestly looks about the same. Oh, look, all of the water that's left has went to the equator because it's spinning so fast that it's pulling it to the equator. Interesting. Okay, Earth is not dead yet. It is still going. This one's going a while. I still see plant life on there. Earth is still alive. It's very much alive still somehow. Oh no, this might be the end for our poor Earth black hole. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add a black hole next to Earth and see what happens. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Earth and we're gonna put Earth. Oh, this is, look how much smaller Earth is than it used to be because we had to swap the mass. I forgot about that. So we're gonna take this Earth, this bigger one and turn this one into a black hole. So the way you do that in Universe Sandbox, you keep the mass the same, but you turn the radius down. So you lock the mass and you're basically crushing it because it has the same amount of stuff, but you're making it so small that the gravity becomes so, so strong that it turns into a black hole. Okay, we should be at the point where it turns into a black hole. Yes, okay, so we have a really, really tiny black hole here, but the mass is more than this Earth. So let's see what happens when this tiny black hole falls into our big earth, our earth here oh oh it's ripping off chunks from our earth this gravity is so strong it's ripping out pieces of our earth and there it goes it just ate the entire thing oh my goodness that was insane. If you guys wanna see more of the wheel, get this video to 3000 likes and we will do another episode of destroying stuff with the wheel. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe too so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.